What's happening my people, what's happening my people man Like I previously mentioned I've got a special, special guest in the building today man Someone who's got a strong journey, someone who's passionate about what he does man Park Hill we Tell him my bro, come a bit closer to the mic my bro man Yeah, yeah No, I can't even still hear you, you might have to move to this mic bro man Technicals, technicals man it happens, it happens. It gets like that. Yeah, perfect, bro. I can hear you, man. Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Park, yeah. man. How's life, bro, man? It's all good, bro. All good, it's bro. Happy to be here, fam. Nah, I appreciate you coming down, bro. Park, I can't lie to you, man. I've heard of you, but I was quite new to you. The first time I took proper... The first time... The first time I ever got... Um, came in contact with you was M Puncher's last show at yeah. print, Printworks, bro, man. Can't lie to you. You came out, you done your thing, bro. I can't lie to you, bro. You wasn't even meant to perform that many songs, was you? Nah, man. Yeah. I was actually just supposed to just do yeah. my feature with him. Yeah. End up doing like a whole set. Sick, man. How was that experience, bro? It was crazy, you know. Yeah. I, w- I weren't prepared, you know. So yeah. Like, I w- this has been a short journey. Yeah. yeah. Like, I started at the end of. 2017 Yeah Get me so To be performing In front of like 3500 3, There's a lot people. of people There man Yeah yeah like, yeah. I, went, yeah I ain't even done No small club not, No small appearances Okay Sick man Sick man Park man Park Something that people Don't know man You're more than Just an artist bro man Let the people know What you are man I'm a producer Yeah Engineer Yeah Yeah um, And yeah Everything I do yeah. I, I even do <laughs> no, I don't, found out. Don't, I found don't, out. Don't, don't. I found out. Parks a, a platinum award winning engineer, man. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Future and Travis Scott. Yeah, I knew you wasn't gonna say that. Do you know what it is? Yeah. yeah. Like I I'd rather let my work speak for me. I hear you, bro. Like the two more. Yeah. yeah. Hear you, bro, man. Bro, where you coming from, though, man? Where am I coming from? Right. Yeah. Drive up Where'd you like, grow up from? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in London. Like, Where about? I grew up all over it. Yeah. Like, to be honest, I moved around. I didn't really have like a, a stable home. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, I moved around a lot with my mum then. I went into foster care and moved a lot there. But so I've, I've lived in different countries. I was yeah. born in America. Okay. Then, moved there. then you moved really here. Young, like, six. But you rep NW6? Yeah, Kilburn. Yeah. Kilburn, so, man. Yeah. Shout out Kilburn, man. Shout out all my Kilburn bandits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Park Hill, man. Do you remember the first time you was ever in the studio? Um, what the first time ever? First, the first first time ever. Yeah, like I must have been young. Must yeah. have been like um, maybe like eight or something. Okay. Yeah. But my first time recording in the studio. Yeah, first time recording. I, you and know what? Song I'm, gonna out. You, I'm gonna give you a, a little trivia. Yeah. yeah. Gappy Ranks recording my first ever song ever in life. Mad. In his crib. Mad. I his crib was in Wembley somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mad, mad. Since then, bro, what's the journey been like, man? Um, How's the journey been? Ups and downs, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You get me? But since this recent journey has been like crazy, it's yeah. been, still been a lot of ups and downs, but you know, like it's feel, it feels good, you get me? It's good, man. It's good, good, man. Park, man, you're someone who's quite passionate about what they do. I wanted to chat to you about, for example, in music, bro, like when you're on your grind, bro, there's mental pressures behind it. A lot. A lot of mental. I can say for myself, bro, like, I'm trying to be the best at what I do. So the mental things in terms of people not understanding why you chase what you do, why you do what you do to achieve your dreams. But you're someone that took, I would say, a lot of risk a to lot. get to where they are today and to get to where they're going to be. Yeah. So, bro, what was that like, man? Like the mental pressures and how did you deal with it? Because there's a lot of artists out there who you are going what? through the yeah, same I'm thing. I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah. Like before I left, I almost didn't leave. I almost didn't go to America to chase my dreams. Yeah. Like... I almost stayed because around me a lot of um, there was a lot of like situations going on yeah, around me, yeah. family, friends, and all of that. And I felt like I don't know if you, if you listen to my music, you know, like there's a I have a, a line in one of my songs where I say I'm the backbone of the fam, yeah. and let it rain. That's literally why I am. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like leaving wasn't easy because yeah, like yeah. how hundred like, percent yeah. what happens. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, who, Hold yeah. it down, you get me. Definitely. That's one of the mental pressures. Yeah. You me? And there's so many. There's yeah. too many to mention. We got. I wish I got it earlier, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, hundred like, percent, bro. Family. But we're gonna arrange that, bro. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna continue with that. But like you said, you being the backbone of your family, what still kind of triggered you to still go ahead and make that decision? My family. Like, yeah. Yeah. The same people that made it hard to leave. Yeah. Also, one encouraged me to leave because um, they were, you know, people that love you will never try to hold you yeah. back. You get me. But at the same time, I'm doing it for them. I'm not yeah. just doing it for me. Like, yeah, I got a dream, but I can make music 
whenever like but for, to do it on this level yeah. it you got to have like a, you got to look around and have like a reason so, some form of like inspiration or some something to give you like incentive or drive like to go for your dreams yeah. you know I don't know if I'm using the right term No 100% bro man 100% bro so when you went out to America bro compare the hustle to America and the UK man well in terms right, of music right now it's similar yeah like, right now it's actually like like neck and neck they're yeah, really yeah. working out yeah. I think like they've peeped like in order to keep up like you got just everyday studio yeah, yeah, every, yeah, you, got, yeah. you got to drop off and you feel yeah. me like but uh, when I first got out here It was just a work rate Like yeah. I didn't And just like how the business is um, The support Like there's No we have a lot of support here Don't get it twisted yeah. But like Still When I went to America Like they was all Buddy buddy Like over here It's not really like that yeah. Still everybody still Kind of stand yeah. up Every now and then and, like, Fair enough man yeah. Do you have a preference? Um, I'm, I prefer being in the UK yeah. But I still miss certain things About being in America like, 100% man 100% man You telling us about your story man Leads back to me doing my research On your your last project The Beauty of the Struggle man Yeah a beautiful struggle Beautiful struggle Sorry yeah, man yeah, yeah. My bad man Your life's basically Your music's basically In the chapters of your life Yeah yeah If yeah, that yeah. makes sense Yeah Beautiful struggle man Explain to me about that one man A bit so, about it Basically that was just inspired by I don't know Like I was just taking A walk down memory lane You know when you're in another, When you're away from family Yeah Or away from your home you often like reflect back I recorded that whole project in Atlanta so okay and I'd been away for a while so these were just like reflecting on like my past you know so and I just really wanted to tell my story you get yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. you know why why how like I had to tell the beginning and how it started yeah. because I got like a long story like there's different no, stuff definitely like, yeah it's not always going to be like the street stuff you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. Gonna be some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. I've got a whole lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah. Do you have to find a balance in terms of making music, in terms of what you've been through, and making music for what people just want to hear? If that makes sense. To be honest, I keep it 100. Yeah. I don't make music for what people want to hear. Yeah. I don't, and I don't make music. Yeah. Um, what was the first thing you said? So making music personally, just for yeah. your your experience. I don't make and stuff. it just for. Me. I don't make it just for me. I yeah. For my guys, like I really, I'm just expressing myself. Yeah. Like, so I guess in a sense it's for me, but I'm just really just. It's just like a journal. Yeah. A diary again. Hundred percent, man. Part kill, man. I can't lie to you, man. Homecoming, though, bro, man. Yeah. Chat to us about that one. That's why we're here today. Every vlog that I watch from your M Hunter one on YouTube, man. Mm -hmm. You all, you always talked about. Homecoming You had to mention Something about homecoming yeah. So it was like Today You've come here yeah, And I was like tell you <laughs> A little funny thing About yeah. this homecoming thing So Funny funny, Funnily enough Like A year Just And this is all by accident A yeah. year prior Like Me Well Dirk was performing At yeah. homecoming CAU Clark Atlanta homecoming That's okay. a university In Atlanta right They got this thing Called homecoming They have like a big uh, all these sports yeah, events yeah, and yeah. rallies and all of that but I didn't know what it was obviously come from over here yeah, so yeah. the whole day I'm trying to ask them where it is that like, yeah, and they're just laughing at me because they don't take me seriously yeah, yeah. and then so I, there was a picture and I posted the caption like um, I don't know what homecoming is that's something it's on my page and yeah. I didn't know like I was going to make a project called homecoming, homecoming yeah. that, that time around that time I wasn't really like making music like that like I was just gearing up to start going hard you get me yeah. and it just all fell into place you get me so I feel like sub um, subconsciously I was making this project from back then okay you know? okay so when did you realise that you should then name it Homecoming it just got it, that's what I'm saying it just got named Homecoming it like basically I kept saying it saying it and my boy P was like yo that's the tape name you know what I'm saying like yeah. so I guess it just like everything just fell into place but I feel like everything started at that homecoming because like now around the same time homecoming is dropping you know what I'm saying 100% man part kill man I can't lie to you man you've got a journey that a lot of artists do need to hear man but we're going to get back into the conversation man before we get into we're going to get into dingers man bro I'll let you I'll let you introduce this one man alright my name is part kill you're looking at my boy Selector YB and this one's called dingers Yeah, yeah. Sick. One thing about you, Park, is with certain artists, you can say that they get 
views but with the views it doesn't really determine your fan base with you i can actually tell you kind of have people that want you to drop and always come back to your music yeah, yeah. like that's what i know is that yeah. like, i might i may not have like crazy yeah. crazy numbers but i got the i prefer that the though. people that keep yeah. coming back and slowly i'm building them relationships with my yeah. friends so it's gonna get to a point where like when it does get crazy there's gonna be those ones that i remember yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying and that we're gonna be locked in forever you feel sick me? man sick 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 park man chat to us about the features on the project man how did yeah. those come about were they your choice or just they were yeah they were my choice yeah like, you see when it comes to music like i gotta be hands-on you yeah know? like kilo like i had to get kilo on there yeah 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 Josie on, like he is one of the, i rate a lot of people out here yeah yeah when i heard him i was like yo like boom i gotta work with him and he's from the ends like yeah yeah like i just felt it made sense and it kind of like our stories what we're talking about in our music is similar like similar but yeah. we touch on it from different aspects yeah so sick I definitely gotta get him on there few yeah, I yeah. had to get a few on there that's, that's bro I had to get a few on there um, But Like I wanted to do I wanted to get Like more features on there But the timing wasn't right like, yeah. A lot of people were hitting me up Like yo why wasn't Huncho on there like, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to put like a little space in between um, Sorry not sorry Cause I feel like people take music in too quick. Like, yeah, hundred percent. They just always want this, this, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta like kind of control. Is that the same the in America? Huh? Is that the same in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same everywhere. Yeah. You get me? So um, I got also got my brother Just Up Jim. Yeah. He's from my camp. He's coming. He's coming soon. Just look yeah. out for him. I got um. Well, my mind went blank. Who else is on it? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, my brother Just Blow six hundred yeah. from. If you're in, if you're familiar with drill yeah. Chicago, you know we just blow six hundred. Okay. OTF, yeah. that's my brother. Um, oh, my brother, Lil Silk. Hey, I didn't forget you, Silk. This is my bro, bro, <laughs> for real, for yeah. real. Like more more than just music. Like yeah, all my all my um, labs on the tape, they're all organic. Like these are yeah, my people. Yeah. These are people that I really be around. Really good. Like I call up for you. You get me. I, I genuinely mess with Jug's music yeah, yeah. and everything. Like me, our relationships just building because I just got back, so he's he's like one of the newest relationships I've built since I've been out here. Fair enough, fair enough, man. You said that with the music, you're quite hands on. So you them artists that you don't really like people kind of <laughs> telling you not what to do, but in, in terms it's of worse than that, bro. I don't even <laughs> I don't even like being recorded by anybody else. Like, I want, yourself? Yeah, yeah, I record myself and everything, but. Since I've been out here, I've yeah. been learning to loosen up. So shout out like a few engineers, like Six. Yeah. Shout out my boy Mazza. Shout out. Wait, who else record? A- anyone who's recording me, you've been dope yeah. since I've been out here. But I usually don't even let people have that control. From I gotta be hundred percent. Fair enough. Is that the same with beats as well? No, 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 no. You work quite closely with MK with the plug in it. That's my guy, yeah, fam. Man. You know what it is, yeah. I feel like he he was what I was missing. Like I had like. The, um, the soft melodic stuff But he yeah. brings out That my heart Like Pause He brings out <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he brings out Park, park you know, Yeah 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 that's like, I get what you're you, mean, mean, yeah. like, you know So Yeah man It was dope working with him And the rest of the brigade I also worked with um, Some up and coming producers Like Ashley Felix Dope fight yeah. He produced a track on there Called um, Locked In I worked with Cage Got Beats work with uh, Epic Pro yeah. produced Don't um, by Bryson Tiller Bryson Tiller yeah. sick, sick some sick, other people yeah. claiming they produced it but yeah, they didn't he like, did, yeah. Yeah. And, but anyway we'll get to that another time but yeah boom who else so, uh, a lot uh, every, right, yeah. shout out all the producers who was on Homecoming man I appreciate all of you fam. sick man sick man sick man you're a producer yourself though do you produce for other people who have songs out I guess official as of as of Yesterday, I guess we can say I officially do because I just got like a placement. Okay. Like, yeah.